As automobiles put more and more strain on our transportation systems and continue to threaten our environment, we need new answers to our transportation problems. One exciting area where new technology promises future job growth is high-speed rail. These trains use less energy than cars and have less impact on the land. They emit fewer greenhouse gases and create less sprawl and encourage more urban development. But high-speed rail is a big challenge. Building a high-speed rail system takes a tremendous amount of planning. Financing must be confirmed. Land and right-of-way must be secured. And local, state, and federal agencies must sign on. A project manager has to get all of this done before a single track is laid. My name is Dominic Spathling. I'm a regional manager for the California High-Speed Rail Authority. And we're really excited to be working with uh, the city on this project. We are working directly with the cities and all of the, uh, the rail providers to make sure that they are involved in the actual planning. My day-to-day -day job is sitting at my desk talking on the phone a ton with a variety of people and just making sure that everybody's clear on what we're working on. So a lot of what I do is talking to people, making sure that everybody understands what, what the plan is because the technical work is in some ways the easiest part. Getting people to actually understand what you're talking about is really the challenge in a lot of the work that I do. To sell a product no one can yet see, computer simulations play a big part in the campaign for public support. The same computer graphics that you see in movies, we use those now to describe a project to not only uh, the public, but to politicians and everybody else and technical people involved with the project. Because we can talk about grade separations and having the train going over roadways and, and various other things. But if you can actually show people a picture and actually fly down the corridor and show how this looks in total, all of a sudden you get the aha moment where people are like, oh, I get what you're trying to do. I understand now what this project looks like. And so I think what's, what's fascinating in, in this industry is the growing importance of visualization skills and uh, the, the use of uh, animation in describing projects and also as an actual tool for analyzing potential impacts.